Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. This is your girl, Kojo, the founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and to get your dreams out of your head into your life. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Come on in, come on in, come on, come on, come on in. It is so important. Come on in, get on, come on now. Come on in. Yeah, we're getting this thing working. It's doing its own thing this morning. We're going to get it right. Yes. Good morning, Shanti. Thank you so much for joining. Um, When you come on, go ahead and invite someone. We're not going to be on here long this morning. I need to head in another direction. We're not going to be on here long, but we are going to come in and do what need to be done. Come on in the room. When you come on, just say good morning, invite someone, share it, invite someone. Good morning, sharing. Thank you so much for joining. You see what the title of this live feed is? It's not going to just happen. It is not going to just happen. You're not going to just be successful. You're not going to just have a great relationship. Good morning, Miss Rose. Thank you so much for joining. You are not just going to have a great relationship. You are not going to be successful in life by accident. You are not going to be successful in life by accident. Good morning, Dr. Mack. Thank you so much for joining. You can be rest assured 100% that nothing in life is just going to happen for you. People are not even that nice. It's not even, they're not that kind. They're not that gracious. It is not just going to happen for you without you doing something. And do you know what? You're not even going to get what you don't want. And I know in so many ways we can say, oh, that's not true. Oh, yes, it is. Good morning, Nisi. Thank you so much for joining. You will not get what you don't want. A lot of times we use fear and we use abuse and we use these other things to say the reason that we get it. But, you know, you got some people I'm reminded of Stephen. You know, he was stoned for his belief. He didn't go compromising and figuring, well, since I'm afraid and since you say you're going to do this and I believe that you're going to take me out, I now don't believe it. No, we will not be successful by mistake. Good morning, Nisi. Thank you so much for joining. We are going to have to be very intentional. I'm going to say that again. We must be very intentional on the steps we make, the decisions we make, the choices we choose, the people we communicate with, the people we spend time with, the, the, the things we spend our money on, the places we go. You're going to have to be intentional about that. Because, see, you can't have a mind that want to make it, but you in places that don't prove that you're trying to get there. Oh, come on now, somebody. You cannot have a mind of wanting to make it, but you are in places that prove that you're not going to get there. I cannot be hanging with the crackheads and the alcoholics and, and, and the whoremongers and, and the adulterers and all these other different sorts of types of people. I cannot hang with them people and say I want to go where I'm trying to go. Not be little than those people. No. But you are not going to be in a place of prosperity and abundance. You are not going to be in a place of productivity when you are in areas that is draining you of your physical self, your emotional self, your financial self, your whole self. It's draining. It's, it's what you do is bipolar, bipolar opposite of what you say. I hear people say, I want it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get with that. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm this and that. But your action tell a whole nother story. If we ever going to get out of anything, 
We're going to have to make motions of movements physically, emotionally. We're going to have to make the movements of going out, getting up. We cannot keep laying and, and keep sitting and, and keep talking. We on the phone and we posting and we telling people, you know, how we going, we go, we, we going, how we going to do this. And I... Stop talking about what you're going to do and do what you're going to do. Stop talking about the change you're going to make and make the doggone change. The energy that we put in talking about what we going to do, fin to, ought to do, should do, and, and, and all these other do-do's and we ain't doing nothing. We can be putting that energy, that time, that space, those resources, those thoughts into actually getting it done. Action speaks volume. It's not going to just happen. You're not going to be able to just forgive. You're not going to just get over your past. You're not just going to get out of that root. You're not going to just get out of your pit. You're not just going to do nothing. You're going to have to have a made up mind and a different perspective than what you had in the place where you was in. If you know you've been drinking and smoking or overeating and sexing and lying and cheating and all these other different sorts of types of things, you're going to have to do something opposite of what you've been doing. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to make up in your mind that I'm not going to please my flesh and I'm not going to be trying to please people. But I have to do what is right. What is right in order for me to get to where I'm trying to go. Good morning, Deborah. Thank you so much for joining. It's not going to just happen. Come on, listen, black people. It is not going to just happen. Good morning, Christine. Thank you so much for joining. It is not going to just happen. We can quit with the cliches. We got more cliches than a little bit. We got all these cliches and all these pop, 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 pop uh, phrases. And we got all this stuff that sounds so good. You got all this stuff that sounds so good. You know, I'm going to fake it till I make it. And, you know, I'm naming it and claiming it. And, you know, I can't have my cake and eat it too. All this stuff. Put that mess to the side. Because if people would have just put those phrases in some books, they'll have some money. They didn't even do nothing with that. They're just saying it. they saying it and everybody using it. You could have sold it. Bottled it up. Put it on paper. Sell it as a scroll. Put it in a book. Make a poem out of it. But we didn't even do anything with that. We say a lot of stuff that we don't do. We say a lot of stuff that don't even make doggone sense. How come I can't have cake and eat it? I know. No matter what they meant, I'm going by what they say. We just say stuff to sound popular. I don't need to sound popular. I don't even have to look popular. I need to live a life that I'm pleased with. I need to live a life that I'm happy with. I need to live a life that I'm excited about. I need to live a life that I look forward to the next day. I don't dread tomorrow. Come on now, somebody. Real black history talk. We got to get to a point that we stop feeling sorry for ourselves and start feeling that it's time for a real change. It's time for a change. We are still down because we choose to be. Oh, I know that's going to hurt some people feeling. Good morning, Tab. Because I know somebody said, I'm doing all I can. You lying. You ain't doing all you can because most of your time, you sitting on the phone, you on social media, you watching TV, and you out with your girlfriends. You are not reading nothing. You are not investing in nothing. You are not trying to acquaint yourself with people that are doing nothing. You are not doing the best you can. You just doing something. Good morning, Camelia. Thank you so much for joining. Good morning, Toshiba. It is not going to just happen. Nothing about you is just going to happen. You're not going to be a great wife just so happen. You're not going to be just a great man just so happen. You're not going to be in a great relationship just so happen. You're not going to be a great business owner just so happen. You're not going to be a great mom, a great dad, a great friend, a great employer, a great employee, a great mentee, a great mentor. You ain't going to be a great nothing by mistake. I have to live life that's pleasing to God. Change is necessary and it's imperative. Come on now, somebody. You're going to have to make up in your mind. I don't care how you think or what you feel about me. I got to live a life that I'm pleased with. Come on now, somebody. I got to live a life that I'm pleased with. And I know a life that's not pleasing to God, it shouldn't be pleasing to me. But we please our flesh. You ain't going to get out just because you want to get out. It's so many times in the word that God said, ask and you shall receive. He don't just give it to you because you know you want it. Because if he done told you, you got to ask for it. And he just give it to you because he know you want it. That makes him look like a liar. Oh, you ain't got to ask. He said ask. You think he said ask and now he don't mean you got to ask? Thank you so much, Tab. 
You think he mean ask for it and now he don't mean ask for it? You think he mean ask and he don't mean ask? He said, ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be open. Seek and you shall be found. You ain't going to find nothing you ain't looking for. It ain't going to just fall in your lap. Stuff that fall in your lap is not an indication that you're looking for anything. Good morning, Robert. If you, if your success, your change, your breakthrough, your freedom is not going to just fall in your lap. Say that, woman of God. This is red hot from heaven. That's Bible. Come on now, somebody. It's not going to just happen. We think just, just because we sit up and with a sad face, puppet doll face. We think because we have crocodile tears. We think because we get on the phone and complain about it over and over and over and over again that something's going to change. You see it haven't changed it yet. You've been going through for a long time. And you're going to keep on going through until you said that, you know what? The way I've been doing this thing is not working. I got to do something different. Next it's not gonna just happen. If you want, if you wanna, if you wanna continue to cry about your past, if you wanna continue to cry about church hurt, if you wanna keep on being a victim, if you wanna keep on feeling sorry, if everything that you want, you'll get it. You'll get it. If you wanna feel bad, all you gotta do is start talking about some old mess that don't amount to nothing. All you gotta do is keep on talking about what people said to you and how they treated you and how they did this. You already know people are messy. We already know they messy. We know they not gonna do what we do for them. We know they don't love us like they love us, like we love them. We already know. We know this. So why do we act surprised when they do it? Why do we act surprised when they do it? So any day we want to feel bad, all you got to do is say, I did something for so-and-so and they didn't do nothing for me. I supported them and they didn't support me. I went to their stuff and they didn't come to my stuff. Do you know you can make your feel, you can make yourself feel bad at any time? You can think of stuff that your mama did, your daddy did, your grandma did, your granddaddy did. You can think of stuff that your best friend did, your wife did, your husband did. You can think of stuff that you did to make you feel like a fool if you want to. Oh, I know it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. This Transparent Tuesday, put on your seatbelt. Had to do something different. Now I have peace and joy and happiness. Thank you, Jesus. If we don't do something, if we keep on, we keep on going back to this thing that, that, that we feel like, you know, once it's mine, it's always mine. The devil is a lie. Boo, once we broke up, there ain't nothing over here belongs to you. No cooted, no booted. You ain't getting no tooted, no kiss, no smacks, nothing. Nothing over here belongs to you. Y'all better get your mind right. See, our minds are not right. We get in this root and we start thinking that we're not worthy. That's a lie. I might not been nothing worth worthy to you, but baby, I'm worthy. I belongs to God. You got to get out of your mind thinking that we got to settle and we got, you know, we got to, you know, since I ain't got nobody, ain't no harm and I'm still married to him, but we divorced. Boo, he's sleeping at somebody's house every day. We already know that people are messy. So why we act surprised when they create a mess? It's the truth. Good morning, Lenora. Thank you so much for joining. You got you in this point, just like you got that crazy joker, you can find another crazy joker. If you think anything of yourself, if I if we didn't make it the first time, nine times out of ten, we ain't gonna go no second round. I ain't gonna even give you the opportunity to see. I'ma forgive you and keep it moving. We're gonna have to keep it moving. It's the truth. It is the truth. Uh, it is the truth. It is the whole truth. We would sit there and settle thinking, well, since I don't meet nobody because I don't go nowhere and I don't see nobody. You don't see nobody but what you didn't want and what you broke up from, what you divorced, what you separated from, and you think you got something. See nothing. Get yourself out. Mingle. Meet some people. Go and do some coffee chats. Go and do some tea talks. Do something. But don't go back to where you came from thinking that you're going to have a better outcome. That is the definition of insanity. You're doing the same thing over and over again. Thinking because they felt sorry because they missed you a few days. They missed what you can do. Some of y'all can do some stuff. That's what they're missing. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. Stop selling yourself short because you feel like there is no other option. You don't even have to. If, if you get your mind, um, and I'm, Nisi, I'm not picking with you, um, but I was finna say something about a man anyway, so don't take this personal. But if we get our mind off the man and get our mind on Matthew 6 and 33, if we seek ye first the kingdom of God, God knows the desires of our heart. He will prepare us to be the people that we need to be. If we seek ye first his kingdom and all of his righteousness, everything that we desire, the marriage will come, the business will come, the house will come, the stuff 
will come. The people will come. Everything that we need, it'll come. But see, we got our mind on everything else first. Good morning, Sheila. Thank you so much for joining. We got our mind on everything else. We want everything else to grow. We want everything else to pop off. We want everything else to develop. And after we get everything else, then we want Jesus. But do you know when you don't have Jesus, you ain't got nothing else. I, I told somebody on this Saturday, you know, a lot of times, if you don't have a foundation, you can forget the house. Nobody just building the foundation and said, look at my house. No, baby, you build on top of the foundation. You build on top of the rock. If you're trying to build a building outside of the rock, if you're trying to build a business on, side of, on, top, on, on the side of the rock, if you're trying to build a relationship on the side of the rock, you need to build your stuff on the rock. Your marriage needs to be on the rock. Your business needs to be on the rock. Your relationships need to be on the rock. If you got friends that you can't talk about Jesus with, you got the wrong friends. Because, see, Jesus is a friend of mine. And, see, Jesus want me to bring my friends to be his friends so we all would know about his business, why he came. We're all disciples. We all we all have a ministry. If you you ain't gotta have no title, you got a, the ministry of reconciliation. You got a job to do. I'm a witness. He delivered me from a mess. Come on now, somebody. You gotta make up in your mind to realize that the only way you gonna be happy and come out the mess that you in is you gotta do something different. You can't be waiting on no savior. You can't be, you got the savior, Jesus. But I'm talking about, a lot of us, we sitting waiting. I'm waiting on somebody to help me. I'm waiting on the people that I help. I'm waiting on, you can be, you going to be waiting a long time. Because most of the time, the people you help the most, they the ones that hurt you. They are the ones that are not there for you. It be complete strangers that come to your rescue. It be people that you didn't even think like you. They are coming to help you out better than the ones that you say you love. And you falling all out on the floor for them. You love they dirty drawers, they funky socks. And you sitting there, and I know somebody that's that, that's just too that's 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 just too much for you, right? It's the truth. You like they nasty socks. You like everything about them. They don't care nothing about you, but what you can do, and how you make them feel. It's the truth. It's the truth. It is the truth. It is the truth. You feel like I got to stay in this situation because I ain't got nobody. And that's the only person that be there for me after you done begged them. I shouldn't have to beg you. I shouldn't have to beg you. If you my friend and you said we we whatever we are, I got to beg you. I got to get out of my clothes. I got to be shamed. I got to feel condemned. I got to feel like a fool for you to help me. It's time to wake up and really smell the coffee. It is time for us to wake up. It is time for us to wake up. It is so frustrating to see that a lot of us, our lives can really be better than where they are. But the only reason they st we're stuck where we are is because of us. It ain't because of nobody. Because people don't even care about us the way we claim. Are they worried about me? People ain't studying you. People got their own problems. We highlight our problems and said people, we, we said people worry about it. Because first of all, you're putting them on social media. Anything you put out here is fair game. When you put it out here, we can look at what we want to look at. Somebody said people just be on Facebook being nosy. How is they being nosy when you didn't put it out here in the newspaper? You didn't put it out here for the World Wide Web to see it. How is that being nosy? You standing out in the middle of the street naked and people looking at you and you won't know what they looking at. Cover yourself up and you ain't got to be saying he looking at you like he ain't married. Put your breasts in your shirt. You know, you know those dresses that we wear that every time we move, we got to pull it like we didn't know they were short when we left the house. I don't wear those kind of dresses, but I'm talking about for the people that do. Stop acting like you surprised. You got your booty, your cootie and everything in between out and you get upset when they look at it. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Really? You got on stuff that you can see straight through. You got wrinkles. You got bumps and humps and all this other stuff. And then you get mad when people are looking. Cover the mess up. If you want to feel like a lady, we got to act like a lady. I don't have to show you what I got because they know everything that every woman come with unless she lost some of it. We both come with two. We come with a split and we come, we come with all that. We ain't got to show it for them to know we got it. I got it and I ain't got to show it to you. Good morning, Pearl. Because if that's the only reason you're looking at me, you can take your tail on. Come on, somebody. 
It's the truth. We think we got to push it up and we got to squeeze it together and we got to lift this up and we got to buy this and we got to do this. Honey, buy. I ain't doing none of that. None of it. Told the lady, well, I wear that thing that squeeze your eyes. I said, I'm, I need to be comfortable. Come on now, somebody. I need to be comfortable. I'm not finna be all tight and breathing and bruised all up trying to put something and hold something together that when you do have an encounter, that they gonna see it all come a loose. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. Good morning, Pearl. <laughs> Love yourself. And I know somebody may think I'm all over the place. I'm right where I need to be. Because everything that I'm saying, somebody need to hear. You got to show them everything. All of them the same. The big ones, the little ones, all of the same. And when you get down to the center of the Tussie Pop, it's the same. You think yours better. It ain't. <laughs> you ain't got to compare your popsicle to somebody else's popsicle because when you look at them, all of them ugly and look the same. They really do. They do the same stuff. Bam. I know that's too much for y'all say, folks. I love the Lord and he know I do. But y'all need to get up out this fantasy world Thinking that your life is going to change and you it's going to be better. That everything, come on now somebody, that everything is just going to work out. If you had this deep look on your face and you just cut yourself off from the world, which makes you not know what's going on around you. And that you so saved that you ain't no earthly good. That you feel like you got to have this look and be all deep and sha na 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 on everything that you say. Get yourself up, boo, and get out the house and take action. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference in our life. It's action. It's a plan, goals, belief, faith, patience, and some doggone action. If you ain't got no action, you ain't going nowhere. Because people ain't just going to, people are not going to just do it for you because they hate to see you get past them anyway. They hate to see you get past you. You can talk about doing. You can want to do. You can say you're going to do. They don't care nothing about that. But baby, when you start putting, when you get yourself out of drive and say, when they see you put your stuff even in reverse, they start looking foolish. But baby, when you get over to drive, they say, this girl finna do some stuff. Stop sitting back waiting and thinking something is just going to happen. I'm getting ready to go, y'all. I got to go. But I pray if you don't get nothing else out of nothing else, if you don't get nothing out of anything that I've said today, action. You got to take action. You got to take action. I tell myself I am going to love my life and I'm going to live the life that I love. I would not live a life of regrets. I may live a life without you, but I would not live a life without with, with regrets. I am not going to live a life of regrets, wishing that I had. I wish I would have went. I wish I would have did. I wish I could have participated. Why is it that we think that we get up every morning? It's not for us just to live somebody else's doggone dream. We go work harder on our job on our job than we do on our work. Our work is our gifts. We got to run our own race. We so impressed with other people, what other people lives. And there's so much about their life. There are so much, there's so much about their life that they are not even pleased with. And we're trying to compare ourselves to that. Good morning, Christine. Uh, Catherine, thank you so much for joining. We are trying to compare ourselves to a life that people are not even happy with. I know you love the Lord, Coach. Many of us are on that 530 call with you. The truth is, uh, the truth is the light. And if you're really honest with that, if we're really honest with ourselves, we know that we need to drop most of these unnecessary loads that we placed ourselves upon. The, that's why we can't move. We're loaded down. Amen. See, one thing about it, you can't pretend for so long. You can only pretend for a little while. What's in you, it's going to come at you. If you really are fake and you just doing some stuff for attention, your lazy self going to get caught up, boo. Because you're going to get tired of faking. Because you're going to say the people coming, they ain't giving me nothing. They ain't, they ain't doing this and that. You got to do it for bigger things than people are hitting a like, clicking, sharing, coming, supporting, or saying amen, patting you on the back, putting, the, putting you up under the light, shining the light on you. If they don't never shine a light, you're going to have to run. 
If they don't never call your name on the roster, you got to run. You don't get on their platform, you got to run. They don't show up on your call, you got to run. They don't support your program, you still got to run. You got to say it's better to run with somebody, but if I got to run by myself, doggone it, I am going to run and rest where necessary, but baby, I'm not going to turn back. Y'all, I got to go. If you're new to me, this is your girl, Coach O. If you are just tuning on, please do yourself a favor. Go back and listen at the replay. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you so much for joining. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, get your dreams out of your head into your life. And sometimes the real truth, people don't like it. They don't like the real truth. They want you to keep on, come on now. They want you to keep on lying. They want you to keep on faking and shaking. They don't like the real truth. They don't like the truth. They'll say when you tell the truth that you're not saved, but they can fake around you and tell a lie, and they think they're saver than you are. The devil is a liar. I am an overcomer.